The new supermarket checkout terminals have microprocessors inside them. They're now called point-of-sale terminals. Each one is a computer in its own right, and they have the power to do a whole lot of new things the mechanical cash registers couldn't do. Besides totaling the bill, this terminal can check up on the validity of a credit card. All the cashier has to do is punch in the card number and the terminal makes its own automatic telephone call. That's just a step from the terminal actually ringing your bank's computer and transferring funds to the shop's bank computer. This is already being done in shops in New York. As each item is checked out, the terminals remember what has been sold, so automatically a total list of what has to be ordered to restock the shop is being built up. In the future, that reorder will be issued quite automatically. And will be responded to by a completely automatic warehouse. Automatic warehouses are working now. This one is not part of a supermarket, but it could be. Loads are delivered to it by lorry and run in towards the main store. They have identifying labels on their sides. A camera reads that label, and a computer automatically decides where the load will be stored. No one needs to know where anything is stored, and no one cares. The computer does it all. When the goods are needed, the computer will know where to find them. We are on the verge of automated shopping systems that will use very few people. All the man has to do is read which lorry this load is for. If you think that is sinister, just think for a moment about the way the computer in the terminal works. Each time a key is pressed, the computer makes a note of the time. The terminals are keeping a record of how fast each girl is punching her machine. It can make a detailed record of each cashier how much money she takes per hour, her number of mistakes. In Denmark, where shop automation is more developed than here, the checkout girls in the biggest supermarket chain have refused to operate the new terminals till that part of the computer's supervising program has been deleted.